What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Gold Kick. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about more Eminem fun facts. So this is a follow-up and a sequel to a video I already made called Eminem Fun Facts. So this will be about some more fun facts about Eminem that you may not know. And I was writing down stuff and I actually wrote down eight things this time. Because the first one was just off the top of the dome. This one is more planned, so I actually have a list on this other other phone and I'm gonna read it. So here is more Eminem fun facts. This time there's eight of them. So let's talk about this. First one is King Mathers. So for those that don't know, Eminem was gonna have an album in 2006 and 2007 called King Mathers. I did a video already talking about this, but Eminem was supposed to release an album around 2006, 2007 called King Mathers. But the reason the album didn't come out is because of Eminem's pill addiction, his overdose, the passing of his friend Proof. He wasn't really in the rap game as much. There was just a lot of stuff going on. But that was an album that was supposed to come out. And apparently it was supposed to be his last album, his retirement album. But the album never came out. And instead of a year or two later, we got relapsed. So yeah, he was supposed to have an album called King Mathers. Would have been interesting to see how that album turned out, how it would have sounded. How it would have came together overall the features the songs the music videos I, I do want to hear the album and it would be cool if eminem would just release it one day but yeah there's the first eminem fact of this video to know about is that he was supposed to have an album in 2006 or 2007 called king mathers would have been interesting to hear that and hear all the material and what it sounds like because that was after encore before relapse around the re-up era <clears throat> So yeah, there's that one. The next one we'll talk about is originally the re-up was called Hand to Hand and it was a mixtape before it was a CD. So I read this somewhere. Somebody I'm subscribed to does like Eminem type content. He like mixes certain Eminem songs and stuff like that. Apparently the re-up was originally called Hand to Hand but then it got changed to the re-up. And also it was a mixtape originally. And Eminem even talked about this in an interview I'll try to find that and put that in the description as well as all the information I talk about. I'll try to have it in the description. But Eminem was saying in an interview in 2006 that originally it was going to be a mixtape with him and 50 and all the people that are on the re-up. It was just going to be a mixtape. It was going to be called Hand to Hand. But they decided to make it a studio album instead and they changed the name. So there's another fun fact from about Eminem to know about. I don't know if it had any different material. Maybe there was different songs. Maybe it sounded different. Maybe there was different people on it. I don't know. But the re-up's original name was Hand to Hand, and it was supposed to be a mixtape at first. I think the name change is better. I think the re-up is way better than Hand to Hand, and I think it's probably better to do an album than a mixtape, but it's still interesting to learn about. So there's another Eminem fun fact. The third one is another Eminem fun fact to know about is I don't know if Eminem uses his Twitter or not, but I think Eminem, this, here's another Eminem fun fact. For those that don't know, there's a rapper out there named Dennis, and he sounds like Eminem. That's why a lot of people know him. He had clickbaited. Uh, there were songs that were clickbaited of his called Eminem New Song. Eminem knows about Dennis, and I'll try to find the link in the description to this. Back when Dennis did a diss to Soldier Boy called Die Already, someone clickbaited it as Eminem dissing Soldier Boy or something like that. And it got a lot of buzz, and Eminem made a tweet on his Twitter account saying, The Die Already song sounds like me, but it's not like me or something like that. So he acknowledged Dennis. He acknowledged his presence. He's aware of him. I mean, he knows who No Life Shack is. And No Life Shacks reacted to Dennis. So Eminem knows who Dennis is. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description so I can find that tweet. Back in like, I think it was 2009, 08 or 010, I can't remember the exact year, Dennis did some diss to Soldier Boy. <clears throat> and because it was clickbaited and got some buzz as Eminem's name rather than Dennis, and Dennis sounded like Eminem, Eminem actually tweeted about Dennis. So there's another fun fact. Eminem does know who Dennis is and he is aware of him, at least from what I can tell. Unless somebody else runs his accounts, it seems like Eminem is aware of Dennis, which is interesting. I wonder what he really thinks of Dennis and his music. Does he like him? Does he have something against him for being similar to him? Will they work together one day? It would be interesting to see them collab, but there's another Eminem fun fact for you. <clears throat> so the fourth one, another Eminem fun fact is there's a skit on the Eminem show called The Kiss Skit. And in the background of The Kiss Skit, 
you can actually hear a song playing. Revenim says lights, camera, action, flashing, something, Marilyn Manson or something like that. That's actually a song in the background of the Kiss skit. That song was actually supposed to be on the Eminem show. And I got it pulled up right here because I could never remember the title good enough. The song is called uh, Everybody's Looking at Me. So this is an Eminem show song. I didn't make it on the album. There's supposed to be a song on the Eminem show called Everybody's Looking at Me. But for some reason or whatnot, he didn't put it out. But you can actually hear some of the song in the background of the Kiss skit on the Eminem show. And I really wish we would have gotten that song because I want to hear it. I think he definitely wasted the opportunity when he re-released the Eminem show for the anniversary. I mean, Jimmy Bryan and Mike was cool, but why give us an unreleased MMLP song for the Eminem show anniversary? It just doesn't make sense. I think it would have made more sense to have uh, Everybody's Looking at Me be the unreleased song on the Eminem show anniversary rather than just Jimmy, Brian, and Mike, or we could have gotten both. But yeah, for those that don't know, if you go and listen to the Kiss skit from the Eminem show, in the background, not for the whole skit, but in the background, you can hear Eminem rapping, saying lights, camera, action, flash, and Marilyn Manson, something like that. That's an unreleased Eminem show song called Everybody's, um, called Everybody's Looking at Me. And yeah, that was just another fun fact I wanted to share. I'd like to hear that song one day. I don't know if we ever will, but yeah, in the background of the Kiss skit, there's an unreleased Eminem song you can hear in the background called Everybody's Looking at Me. So there's another Eminem fun fact for you. So let me just switch. I gotta I gotta switch hands because I filmed this by myself. I'm a one man team. I don't I don't got a team. So I gotta do this on my own. So arms getting tired, so we're switching arms here, if that makes sense. But yeah, that was the fourth one to know about the fourth Eminem fun fact. So the fifth Eminem fun fact is this is a pretty rare and obscure one. Eminem and Ludacris actually met each other, I believe in 2004. And shout out to one of my subscribers, her name is Felicia. She posted this video and I'm glad she did because it's some rare shit and I'll link it in the description. There's a video of Eminem and Ludacris on camera together in the same room. It's like some kind of skit, parody, political thing uh for like the encore album or something and it's ludicrous and eminem it's only like 40 seconds or something like that it's almost a minute long and it's pretty damn cool you know because i like ludicrous and eminem <clears throat> and it was cool to see them together on camera like that because they've never done any music together um i mean the closest ludicrous has gotten to working with aftermath is maybe like the leaked thing he did for detox which was like I think a placeholder song for Dr. Dre and then maybe like a remix he did with 50 Cent or something. But for the most part, Ludacris has never worked with Eminem, still hasn't. I wish they would collab one day and I think they should have did a song back in the day, especially in 2004 because that was when they were really both in their prime. So yeah, there's another fun fact for you. There's another Eminem fun fact for you. There is a video out there <clears throat> of Eminem and Ludacris in the same room together doing like a skit parody thing. It's like a political type comedy skit thing. Eminem and Ludacris look like promo for the Encore album. It's a very rare video. I'll link it in the description. It's really cool to see Eminem and Ludacris in 2004 together on camera because they never did music together. And it was awesome to see that because I'm a fan of both of them. And I really wish they would have did some music together. But that is a pretty cool video. And I definitely recommend you check it out. And I think it should get a lot more popular because it's a really fucking cool Eminem clip. And it's, it's, it's awesome. So for those that don't know, <clears throat> that exists out there. And I really wish we'd have gotten our collab song between the two because that was really cool and they just had good chemistry and I could just tell they could have did something really dope. So yeah, there is the uh, fifth Eminem fun fact for you. Eminem and Ludacris did like a skit together in 2004 and it's like a video political skit thing. I'll link it in the description for those that haven't seen it. Pretty rare. I didn't even know about it until like uh, Felicia posted it. So shout out to her, one of my viewers. Um, and I'm, I'm deep into obscure stuff and even I didn't know about that. So, you know, there's a lot of obscure stuff out here that we still got to learn about, which is why I'm making the sequel to put more knowledge out there about the more obscure Eminem information, if that makes sense. So let's move on to the rest of these. So number six, this is an interesting one. This is one I learned recently. <clears throat> I can't remember when I watched this, but uh, Eminem actually made a song with Marilyn Manson in 1998. This is before The Way I Am. This is before Marshall Mathers LP. This is before Eminem and Manson did a uh, concert together, all that stuff. This is before that, way before that. Um, I'll link this in the description. Eminem's first ever interview in 1998, he's like in some bar, 
in the interview, he's talking about the Slim Shady LP, getting the sign of Dr. Dre, and he mentioned that he did a song with Marilyn Manson, but we've never heard that song, we don't know what it's called, and we just never heard it, and it never got released. And this is in, this was in 1998, so this was Eminem and his Slim Shady LP days, Marilyn Manson and wh whichever albums he had around that time, I can't remember. So it would have been interesting to hear what that song would have sounded like, what they would have did together. And it would have been cool because they did technically do a collab, but it was just a remix, you know? They didn't really get to make something original together. So yeah, that's an interesting fun fact for you. And I was like, wow, when I found that out, because I never even knew about that. So yeah, I'll link it in the description. Pretty cool Eminem interview. Just the fact that he said that he made a song with Marilyn Manson in 1998, before all the Way I Am stuff and MMLP. But we never got to hear the song. It'd be interesting to hear what that song sounds like and, you know, how it would come together. But he mentions it in the interview. So hopefully one day we can hear the song, whether it's leaked or whether it's officially released. I'd like to hear what Eminem and Marilyn Manson cooked up in 1998. I It probably would have been something good because DMX did something pretty good with Marilyn Manson in the 90s. Uh, Damien to the Omen, that was pretty good. So Eminem in his prime, Manson in his prime, probably would have been a really good song. So yeah, they did a song together in 1998, but... We just don't know what it's called and we haven't heard it. So there's another Eminem fun fact for you. So that's number six. So number seven, another Eminem fun fact is there is some songs on Revival that are unreleased and are from the recovery era. And this is something I picked up on myself and really noticed. And the following songs are Tragic Endings, Castle, Need Me. Those three songs in Revival are from the recovery era. So they weren't really made for Revival. Those are technically unreleased songs. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta fucking switch the camera again because my arm's getting tired. Like I said, guys, I'm a one-man team. I don't got anybody to film this shit for me. So, uh, you know, this is raw as it gets. But anyways, yeah. Uh, Tragic Endings, Castle, and Need Me, those three songs from Revival are from the recovery era. And how you can tell is when you listen to Revival, Eminem's voice, we know what it sounds like nowadays. Eminem has had different styles of his voice, like a lot of his albums, through a lot of his history. Eminem has had certain styles and sounds with his voice and his delivery. Um, like the, the way he sounds on Slim Shady LP is completely different than how he sounds on Recovery, for example. So you listen to Revival, you hear what his voice sounds like nowadays, and if you listen to Tragic Endings, Castle, and Need Me, Listen close to his voice, and you can tell that that's not Revival era Eminem voice. That's Eminem's voice from the Recovery era. I don't know if these were songs made in 2010, 09, 011. I don't know when they were made, but they are definitely Recovery era Eminem songs. So he made these three songs somewhere around the Recovery era because it sounds just like the Recovery era Eminem voice. And even though I wasn't a fan of, even though I wasn't a fan of Revival, I feel like the execution just wasn't good i do think that like castle is one of the better songs on the album and i think that is one of the positives i could say is i think it's cool that eminem put some unreleased material on revival and he's did this before which will be the last thing i'll get into which is another thing it's actually about relapse but uh i think it's pretty cool that he put some unreleased material on revival I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Tragic Endings or Need Me, but I do love Castle. That's a great song. So yeah, for those that don't know, Castle, Need Me, and a row not a rose, Castle, Need Me, and Tragic Endings, those three songs in Revival are unreleased songs, recovery era songs. Because you, you listen to the songs, and if you listen to his voice, they sound just like they were from the recovery era. It sounds like the recovery era Eminem and you know how Eminem sounded when he made recovery and it's like the exact same voice and cadence on those three songs and that's how you can tell and know those songs are from that era and it's pretty cool honestly and, and that's something i wanted to point out so there's a there's the seventh Eminem fun fact and then the final one the eighth one to talk about the final fun fact for this more Eminem fun facts video is this is kind of a similar one to the last one, but for Relapse. And I don't know if people know this, but there's three songs on the Relapse album that are, I guess you could technically say unreleased, not Relapse songs. And those ones are Beautiful, <clears throat> My Darling, and Careful What You Wish For. Beautiful was made in like, I think 2005. Like Eminem said he recorded some of that song when he went to rehab. Um, 
And when you listen to Beautiful and you listen to My Darling and you listen to Careful What You Wish For, his voice and cadence on those songs sounds a lot um, it sounds a lot earlier than the rest of Relapse. Like the rest of Relapse, especially like the song Forever, it sounds more like the 2009 Eminem, the accent Eminem, his modern voice. But if you listen to Beautiful and you listen to Careful What You Wish For and you listen to My Darling, it sounds a lot more like Eminem before Relapse and it doesn't sound like modern Eminem. And from what, from what I know knowledge-wise, Beautiful, My Darling, and Careful What You Wish For, here's another cool thing about these songs. They're King Mathers songs. Apparently, those songs were supposed to be on King Mathers, which we talked about that at the beginning of this video. But yeah, I did a video about King Mathers. Um, Beautiful, Careful What You Wish For, and uh, My Darling, those songs were actually supposed to be on King Mathers. Um, but King Matters never came out. So it's cool that Eminem actually got to It's cool that Eminem put those songs on relapse so we could actually hear them because they're really good songs honestly So yeah, and then also another fun fact is originally beautiful was called in my shoes instead of beautiful So that's another fun fact for you. So yeah uh, Those three songs beautiful careful what you wish for uh, beautiful careful what you wish for my darling they're uh, they're uh, songs before relapse they were supposed to be on King Mathers and they weren't brand new relapse material and you could definitely tell because they don't really have accents the cadence is different his voice sounds different compared to the rest of relapse so there's another Eminem fun fact for you about those songs from the relapse album from the relapse refill deluxe edition that has everything on it basically so that's it for this video um this is my sequel to Eminem fun facts this was more Eminem fun facts, and boy, I had a lot more to talk about in this video. <clears throat> so that's really all I got to say in this video. I hope I hope all the people out there that like Eminem, like I do, learn some new stuff today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the notification bell. And uh, that's all I got to say in this video. Peace.